am I going to have to get a four barrel performance carb for this car that uh, was not intending to have that on. Well, welcome back everyone. Uh, still working on the car. I appreciate a lot of y'all's comments and support. They really meant a lot to me, so thank you so much. Um, I, uh, a lot of y'all have said that it might be a timing issue. Um, so what I did was I took out the number one spark plug, put my finger back there. My dad bumped it over until it got uh, pushed out, um, thereby uh, concluding we're at top dead center. Uh, which or thereabouts which I then verified by looking at the uh, harmonic balancer um, so then I uh, restocked the distributor um, so when it's at top dead center it's pretty much pointing straight up like that uh, and so I've advanced the timing yeah, just eyeballing it like 8 to 10 degrees how can I even say that? But yeah, I moved it just a little bit forward or this way. Um, so uh, let's try and kick it off and see what happens. Dates. Uh, as you may notice, uh, the fuel make it happener is off. So there is like fire residue here because we were having some fire shoot out the back, which uh, I don't think these are supposed to do. So Dad had the idea that maybe something was wonky up there. So we took off the carburetor, which uh, uh, this is the Mop Horn 2100. It's a two barrel carburetor. Um, and to the Mop Horn's credit, I think this th guy was doing okay. I don't think he was our problem. But uh, I think the problem was probably Located uh, here, uh, to be honest with you, because one of the things I got was a Mr. Gasket converter plate, which uh, here yeah, you can see it, which uh, is supposed to change it from a four barrel, which I think that intake is. I think I think that's four barrel. It's supposed to change it from a four barrel one to a two barrel one. However. Uh, um, well, also, uh, you know, that's not right, but really, really not right is this flame chard back here. Uh, so we need to figure out a way to put a different carburetor on there that won't do that. And I think that'll get this all working together so the original intake manifold was this two barrel guy um which uh worked would have worked fine with the uh new carb i got but i got the plate to convert uh two barrel carb to uh the four barrel carb uh and either i did this wrong or it's just not working so uh i guess it was kind of a trick question I was asking y'all why this wasn't working, because I don't know. Um, so I either need to figure out what I did wrong here and fix it, because this is uh, this is no no worky, um, or uh, get a different carburetor, or put the old intake back on, which I really hope. We don't have to do, but you know, it's a learning experience, guys. Um, 
I think it's okay, like, with that, with like, with these little lines here, cause a problem? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know, guys, I don't know. But, like, this intake is just, it's real shiny and nice. Um, but if, for whatever reason, the fuel isn't getting down there, then uh, something's not working right. And I gotta figure that out. All right, so this is the gasket. I put on this, which uh, these four holes line up well to the carburetor when you put it on. But uh, these holes here, uh, I think, just let explosions come out of the back. You can kind of see the gasket's a little little wonky here. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Uh, and the bottom of the carburetor is a little charred, which I don't think that's supposed to happen either. So, thought. If the fire is escaping and going in here, uh, that's not good. So how do I fix that, I wonder? Do I need a new carburetor? Uh, do I need a different adapter? Oy. Um, that, I think, is going to be the problem. So, I don't know. It's a little long in the day to get a new carburetor. Uh, I'm going to have to figure this out. But, good news is, um, that gives me hope that uh, we're on a path, at least, that might have some positive resolution to it. Uh, let me see what I can do, and uh, I'll get back to you guys. Uh, <clears throat> side note, um, this kind of blue towel, it's the almost feels like a cotton kind of fabric. Uh, it's really nice, so it's a little pricey. It's more expensive than paper towel, but uh, it's, uh, it's really absorbent and strong, um, and uh, you can also use it to... Uh, plug up your uh, intake manifold uh, if you're an idiot like I am. So, uh, spend the money. You'll not regret it. Okay, guys. So, I uh, did some more research. Um, and I was watching a video uh, from Thunderhead289, who's uh, a much smarter uh, man than I am. And he was working on a car that uh, was using this pretty much, I think, exact same thing. But it was, instead of converting a two-barrel carb to a four-barrel intake, which, why would you ever do that? That's stupid. He was converting a four-barrel carb to a two-barrel intake. So he was using it just in the opposite direction. I am trying to use it. So what he said was that you have to plug up these holes here because otherwise the flame is just going to shoot out which you know um, I think you know kind of makes sense and I think that because I uh, am a little bit of an expert when it comes to arson um, I have seen the movie Backdraft and Backdraft 2 don't see the second one but the first one's great but you can it looks like flame starts here because this would be on the intake manifold so coming down through the carburetor exploding and then exploding out through here uh, helping to melt and destroy this uh, gasket as well as sending all this you know soot and carbon out um, uh, and compression so we need to try and seal these off so I'm going to attempt to do that by just 
slathering it with uh, some room temperature vulcanization cream. I don't know if this will work, but uh, I'm going to give it a shot. Ooh, this is tough to use. We could just take the top off and just spook. There we go. That's that's mechanic work right there. This is a great idea, Gary. Yes, sir. I don't see any problems. With this, you big dummy. Um, so, uh, I believe this uh, takes um, 24 hours to really seal. So, unfortunately, we're not going to get to see the results. It's going to be a little bit of a a uh, cliffhanger here if this works. I'm going to try and just splurk it down here. I mean, can you have too much? I don't think so. Um, try to make sure that this seals up everything. Um, with the idea being that uh, it will prevent the flame from uh, escaping. So leave a comment down below if you think this dumb idea is going to work. Um, I'm kind of coming down on the side of no on it, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Um, but basically going to let these guys dry. Oh, I don't know. Is it, can you touch this? I am. So uh, we're going to let these guys dry and uh, firm up so that they're uh, making strong seals and then we'll uh, try putting it back on and seeing if uh, this works uh, to prevent um, the uh, explosions out of the rear end of this which you're not really looking for so yeah let me know if you think that's gonna work um, or am I going to have to get a four barrel performance carb for this car that uh, was not intending to have that on? Um, I'm thinking, you know, this if these hold, maybe. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, guys, that's going to be uh, it for this week, unfortunately. Um, and I just don't have much else I can do right now until uh, that either works or doesn't work. Um, and uh, special thanks to dad for thinking to take the carburetor off and see if there was anything unusual um, I uh, I look forward to seeing the results of it it's kind of an interesting little science experiment um, and if you have any thoughts or comments uh, please leave them down below uh, leave a like if you'd like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you're seeing um, if you like watching an idiot do stupid things and I guess this is you know Good for you. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you guys next time and uh, hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thanks for watching.